mundo en un clic. Freelancer.com es un sitio web que reúne trabajadores de medio tiempo con empleadores que buscan una buena relación precio-calidad. Para profundizar en este tema, estuvimos con el CEO de la empresa, Matt Berry, a continuación lo que nos contó. Eh, partamos con la, el origen de la idea. ¿De dónde nace? Tuviste que había una explosión de globalización y quisiste cre ahí crear el sitio. ¿Cuál, cuál fue? ¿Dónde nace? Uh, it's an interesting story. I um, actually used a small marketplace about four years ago, and I was absolutely blown away by what you could get done. And so I actually uh, bought the site, <laughs> and then I used that to uh, as a base to acquire uh, nine websites, all small marketplaces around the world. Uh, so one in the United States, one in Canada, uh, one in, Canada, one in uh, the UK, um, Germany, etc. And I put them all, all together and the site's taken off since then. Y creaste estos cinco pasos fáciles para, para lograr el, el, el éxito de la persona que quiere presentar su proyecto o a su vez ser empleador, empleado o empleador para, para ser contratado. ¿Cuáles son estos cinco pasos que se presentan? Bueno, I mean, the, the amazing thing today is that it's never been easier to start a business. So, if you, if you thought about actually starting a company, you can now go online, you can hire a digital workforce to get anything done. In, in the past, it was um, either too expensive or too hard or took too long uh, to find people with the right skill sets. You know? But um, people have ideas all the time. What about building a website or an iPhone application or you know, anything like that? And so we, we make it very, very easy for you to do that instead of unleash your you know, entrepreneur. Um, in terms of freelancers now as well, uh, in Chile, we have um, a, a very small number right now, almost 4,000. Um, but what we, we think this will grow quite dramatically, we open up a whole uh, global uh, network of uh, employers. So you can now go online and you can work in any skill set, you know, any area that you wish, any time of day at, your, the own, at your own rates. And so if you want to specialize in an area um, that might not be around locally for you to do, um, you can now you know, tap into a global network. So, It's, it's a, you know, what we do is really we empower entrepreneurs on both sides of the equation. Nombremos estos cinco pasos. Primero, eh, una persona si quiere acceder a este sitio, tiene que subir su currículum, después eh, poner cuál categoría eh, sería la que él quiere trabajar. Cuéntanos un poco de los pasos a seguir. Sí, okay. So, in terms, if you're a freelancer, it's free to sign up. Um, you fill in your online profile. You put in, um, for example, your work history, your educational history, um, and so forth. You then fill in um, which skill sets you're, you're interested in, and these are job areas that we will notify you um, as they become available. So we send one million emails an hour out globally to freelancers notifying them of jobs, and about 2.5 million have gone through the site already. Um, the key thing is that when you start off, the hardest job you'll ever win is the first job. And so um, the more detail you can provide, to the employer when bidding on a job in terms of you know, showing that you've read everything that they've um, in, in, the, in the project description. Um, you want to be as engaging as possible. You want to really stand out. And the more you do that, the more, it's really communication is the key. The more you, the better your communication, the more chance you are, you have of winning. Um, make sure you set the pay rate to be the pay rate that you, know, you think you should be paid. Don't go lower just to try and win the job. Um, because you don't want to sell yourself short. Um, so you should be confident of your abilities. Um, fill out the online portfolio. So our portfolio takes a whole range of different um, media types. So it's not just graphics, but you can put you know, websites you may have designed, or uh, you can put examples of um, work, copywriting that you may have done, and even software. You can upload um, uh, source code and we display it in your online portfolio. And if you have a very good portfolio and a you know, very, very good um, Uh, you know, um, online profile, together with the ability to you know, communicate uh, as effectively as you can, um, that's usually a, good, a very good chance for, um, for a freelancer. For, for an employer, the best thing you should do is the more detail you put in the description of the project, the better the outcome you'll get is. Always make sure you go for quality first uh, and not price. So, you know, you can, um, it's free to post a project, 
it's free to actually talk to all the freelancers and ask them for samples of work or um, ask them questions and so on. And um, uh, you know, the more time you put into actually finding the right person, the better outcome you'll have. Y hay algunos requisitos eh, para la persona que quiere presentar su, su habilidad, el sitio para darle confianza al quien está buscando un trabajador. ¿Qué, qué requisito tiene que pasar la persona que ofrece eh, su trabajo? Um, th there's really no requisitos. Anyone can sign up. You can be um, in high school looking to earn some pocket money on the side, or you can be a very experienced professional who's retired, who's at home, wanting to do a bit of work. You know, you know, a few hours a week. I mean, the whole spectrum. Um, so, um, really, it's it's down to how well you actually you know fill in your profile and how well you, um, you know, upload your work history and educational history and so forth that kind of really you know just you know, make you distinct from you know, everyone else on the side. Pero, y lo más difícil cuando se empieza un nuevo proyecto es la difusión sobre todo en internet que es un mercado que está constantemente expandiéndose a gran ritmo. ¿Cómo, eh, ¿Qué método de publicidad utilizaste tú para llegar a todo el mundo? O sea, más de 200 países están ustedes. Ok, bueno, well, as a, as a consumer internet company, the number one thing you can do is have very good um, search engine optimization. And what I mean by that is, um, all day, every day, there are 2 billion people on the internet. And what do they do all day? They go to Google and they type in search terms, right? So if your website can appear very highly according to those search terms, you can get a lot of traffic. So we spend a lot of time on, on what we call SEO, um, and that's very important for any website owner, but that's, that's huge for us. We do, um, we've got a very, very good word of mouth, because uh, some of the freelancers are making up to a million dollars a year just through our website, doing jobs, working in places as remote as you know, Serbia or the Philippines, or hopefully now Chile, um, and so on. Um, and so, um, word of mouth is very strong. We have an affiliate program, which is which is very good. Um, I do a lot of speaking at events. So, for example, on Tuesday uh, this week, I spoke in Buenos Aires, uh, in Argentina, uh, talking about freelancer, uh, and and so on. So, I mean, yeah, there's a, mainly um, the challenge for us is we need to reach every small business in the world and every you know, consumer in the world. And how do you do that cost effectively, getting a large reach? Um, so the online methods are usually the best. Social media as well. ¿De qué países son los profesionales que más se han inscrito? ¿Cuál ha sido su mejor público, mercado? Um, two major markets for us are the United States for um, basically small businesses employing and India for uh, freelancers working on jobs. And in both those markets we have well over one million professionals. Estados Unidos entonces sería el principal. The US is the main one, then followed by the UK, uh, India, Canada, Australia. Bueno, ahora llegan a Chile. Eh, estuvieron en Argentina. ¿Por qué Latinoamérica este 2002 si no fue antes? ¿Qué, qué tiene de especial Latinoamérica ahora? Well, it, it took a long, it's, it's a bit of a challenge to, first of all, get a marketplace like this. Uh, a, multi-currency, and B, uh, multilingual. And then following that, you need to have a support team that can actually assist users in that language. So you have to hire. And so the first language we obviously wanted to target is Spanish because of the global reach with 500 million native speakers you know, worldwide. Um, and Latin America has always been a, a spot we wanted to, we wanted to actually um, grow rapidly because it's only less than 2% of our, of our user base at this point in time. But there's huge opportunity. I mean, the, the region is absolutely booming. Um, and so um, it, it, took, it took a while, uh, but you know, as of today, we have you know, Spanish language support. We have a Spanish speaking support team. As of Monday, we'll have Chilean pesos so you can transact on the site and, and so forth. And there'll be a range of features afterwards, but it, it just takes time to get these things together. Bueno, además tú comentabas que Latinoamérica es un gran mercado por su participación en Internet, las redes sociales. So the penetration rate um, of Latin America is, the, is one, the region generally is the third fastest growing region globally in terms of you know, Internet connectivity. Um, already in um, you know, some parts of you know, Chile and so forth, the connectivity is equivalent to what you'd find in many parts of Europe. Um, but there's you know, still a way to go in the region. And the, the great thing about that is there's now opportunity. Uh, because there's a whole bunch of services that have primarily been targeted at Americans uh, and Europeans, which are now available uh, in the area. So there's going to be an amazing transformation, I think, in the economy here as every business really, um, or every industry really, to transforms into you know, software-dominated businesses. Like if you, like if you look at the, in the US right now, the biggest um, advertising company 
in the world is a software company, it's Google. Um, the fastest growing telecommunications company in the world is a software company, it's Skype, which is Microsoft. And the biggest bookseller, the biggest shoe seller is a software company, it's Amazon. So now that um, the region's connected up, you're gonna see a lot more things coming uh, locally that's going to you know, transform the economy and I think it's gonna be a fantastic thing for the, for the region. ¿Y qué perspectivas de crecimiento tienen para Latinoamérica en el corto plazo y sobre todo para Chile? ¿Es uno de los principales mercados dentro de Latinoamérica, dentro de la región? I think um, it, it depends how fast the, the region sort of embraces the internet and technology. Um, I know that there's a you know, very good university system here, um, but you know, I think this is something that I think I have a passion with, for example, in my home country is, I think that, um, yeah, Australia, I think, I think that um, we should be pushing um, technology bet more into high schools. So things like teaching programming, teaching you know, kids to kind of you know, develop websites or iPhone applications, which should be something we teach from a very early age because in the future, um, you know, everything is going to be on the internet, everything is going to be you know, controlled by software and the, the regions that can really capitalize on this in terms of having a populace that's very well educated with technology, embraces it and, and uses it, I think will have a huge, huge, huge future in terms of, um, of economic growth. Y, eh, acá tienen cuatro millones, más de 4 millones de usuarios el sitio web. ¿Cuánta plata se mueve eh, diariamente en promedio de empleado a empleador? ¿Cuál es el promedio? O sea, van desde los 5 dólares hasta no hay tope. Yeah, so the, the jobs start from around 30 dollars US and they go up to the hundreds of thousands of dollars to, you know, they can be very ongoing, you know, long-term engagements. The average job size is about 200 US dollars. And, um, you know, there's a whole range of things you get done um, all the way from, there's over 500 categories of work now, so it's not just IT related work, you know, website design, graphic design, copywriting, SEO and so on, but we have sections now in mechanical engineering, biotechnology, um, genetic engineering, accounting, tax, manufacturing and so forth. So it's, it's really any sort of job that can be done with a computer. ¿Cuáles son los proyectos más populares? ¿Qué está buscando la gente? Um, the, I mean, the really big ones are you know, website design, iPhone application development, you know, mobile apps are booming now uh, because um, the, the, all the growth that's going to be happening on the internet as we go from 2 billion people to 5 billion people is going to be driven from mobile, like tablets and mobile phones and, and, and so forth. Um, there's, a, there's a boom in copywriting jobs as well because the internet is really an information medium and, and everyone wants to you know, fill the internet with all sorts of information about things. Um, and so on, but I mean, again, it's 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 all pretty much IT centric, but um, it's broadening out as as the time goes on. Perfecto. Eso era. Muchas gracias, Matt. Que tenga una buena estadía en Chile. Great to meet you. Thank you.